right guys got my 1969 Chevrolet pickup here uh, it's a short step um, and I wound up putting it on a 72 Chevy frame uh, I put a uh, Beltec suspension I did a 4-6 uh, a drop so it's got Beltec lowering springs it's got drop spindles uh, I've got all the shocks over there um, let's just start up here just to let you know this is going to take just a little bit every bushing every mount everything that holds all the supports on everything is brand new every ball joint every a-arm bushing all the disc brakes brand new power steering brand new disc brakes brand new calipers brand new tie rods all brand new bushings all all new center link stuff every single thing up here is brand new um so all the suspension from there all the way back here even those trailing arms there the trailing arms that go down that connect to the rear end all brand new it's just dusty it's been inside for about five or six years i keep it inside and i started building this truck and as most people know that this is part of my personal collection this was a truck that i was going to uh finish up myself so i was going to build this for myself uh all that needs to happen is now is uh it needs you know line, lined up pretty you know a little bit more decent and uh, it needs wired. Once you wire it, you got about two or three days left of a little bit of body work. I did patch it in because I was going to put a rear tank. Uh, and I was doing factory air cab, uh, an LS3 in it. And uh, that's what I was going to do. So power steering, power brakes. It's got rear drums. Uh, rebuilt the rear end. Uh, so the rear end's all been totally gone through. Uh, all the trail and arm stuff, all the brakes, everything is brand new. Um, all the body mounts, all the cab mounts, all the bushings, everything are brand new. So when it comes to suspension, not only is it Beltec with drop spindles and everything's good to go there, but it's also, you know, it's it's definitely next level. So, um, and it's, it's going to have an awesome stance when it's done. Also, because I put it on the 72 Chevy frame, you got five whole lug wheels. So that'll be super nice. So keep that all in mind, too, that all the bearings, everything are also brand new and everything's been gone through. So uh, brake lines already ran. It's ready to rock and roll. Now, when it comes to the body, uh, I bought all new uh, fenders. Um um we wound up welding in uh any kind of patch panels in the floorboard so all of this is uh the floors are good to go um real solid everything's been taken care of um i mean the bed alone's three to four thousand dollars so got a brand new bed uh put it all together put it in there because i wanted it ultra straight i wanted to try a step side this side this time a short step uh the little bottom uh step ups right there they're right over there they're brand new see how they still got the number on them and then i bought a tailgate you know these things are 500 to a thousand bucks brand new chevrolet tailgate um let's go over here and let's open this door up um all the bolts all the uh and you see even the stickers are still on the fenders so um and I got all the doors all, you know, where they close real nice and whatnot. But see, got all the mounts there, right there, that hold uh, hold these up. So I just haven't had time to bolt these in. I did buy a set of rockers. Uh, but the rockers are in really, really good shape. So there is a tiny, tiny bit of body work to do. There is a couple little pinholes. One, two, three, four... And then this right here, this one little spot here. Other than that, the rest of it's in perfect condition. Front windshield, all perfect. Everything's good. Uh, the whole floor pan is good, except for uh, we got one little spot that we still need to patch a little bit right there. So you'll need to put a little bitty patch, you know, right there. So other than that, rest of it is good to go and already done. 
Uh, now all underneath, we wound up uh, we wound up uh, rhino lining it and undercoating underneath. After we were done, that's where the black see the black tint under there. So whenever we were done doing that, we undercoated it with the cab lifted up in the air uh, on an A-frame. Then when we set it back down, we put all new body bushings. So all new body bushings there. Uh, all the door handles and stuff are all working. And because I was going for an LS3 build, I wanted to go for a, a factory tack here that had a little bit higher RPM range. So I special ordered this and had it built for an LS3. And uh, it's got an 8,000 RPM tack. Um, and this get up here, I paid 800 to to $1,000 just for this. So I got it. And then I've got a, uh, where did I buy? I also bought a temperature gauge, an auxiliary temperature gauge, but I bought it all where it'd be factory. So when you put it in, it'd be nice and chromed out, black, slick, and it would look factory. So uh, I've got the glove compartment deal. Uh, I do, do not have the glass uh, because I was building this as a show truck, guys. So whenever I was all done, we coated the frame with, uh, it's a Summit Racing frame coating stuff. I forget what it's called, but it's got some kind of elastomer polymer in it. And we coated all the suspension and everything uh, whenever we had it all out, you know, and ready to go. So uh, we did stop because I started building or working on other race cars. So I wound up moving this truck into here. And the story on it is, is I just didn't get back to working on it. But now that we're selling most of my collection of my cars, this was one of them that I was going to fix for myself. So, and I was building it as a show truck, and uh, I've already built a couple other show trucks. But this was definitely going to be my bad boy because I drove something like this in high school. So, I don't have any other parts. The parts that you see, everything here is pretty much brand new. Um, I don't have the hood. I was going to buy a cow hood for it. Uh, and I was going to buy all new chrome for the front, all new chrome grill, uh, all new glass. So I, I wasn't going back with anything used. So basically the bed, the suspension parts, and just those fenders. Um, you can look those up through LMC or whoever you want to look through. Classic trucks where I got most of this stuff. Uh, you're looking at damn near 10 grand just for body parts body parts that you see here and the 800 to a thousand dollar instrument cluster is damn near 10 grand so the good news is um, um the truck will sell i am going to sell it i don't have time to mess with it and if you want a truck where you don't need to do like really almost no body work very little already ready to go for the most part and all you got to do is buy you a $700 wiring harness, pull that in, drop your motor and transmission in, two or three days body work, and then put the glass in it. She's ready to paint. I mean, this is the truck for you. So all the hard work's already done, all the suspension work, all the new body panels. The reason why I went with body panels, it was just better and easier to do this rather than trying to make old body panel straight and have a fortune tied up in it there uh because you know these beds are normally beat up and everything else so this would allow you to everything's brand new except for the cab and the damn two doors so the rest of the truck is new so um and everything's been gone through so it also has the disc brake, the five lug upgrades. It has the Belltech four six drop lowered suspension upgrade, um, which this thing is gonna hook like a monster. You see me pushing on it there. I mean, when you launch it or take off, it's gonna run like a bat out of hell. So, but um, I'm not gonna let this truck go absolutely for nothing, but guys, I gotta, you know, I'm trying to recoup my parts. Um, maybe, uh, hopefully I can recoup a little bit of labor too. Uh, but if any of you guys know anything about trucks, um, what I've just rattled off with body panels, you're more than welcome to look them up, look up a Beltec suspension system, look up a disc brake conversion, look up power steering, um, brand new power steering box, look up 
all new bushings and all new ball joints and tie rods and all that stuff then look up the body panels you're gonna be like oh my god this guy's into this thing and and, and my rough estimates were around 10 grand it's what i got in it's what i found in receipts uh and i don't have all the receipts you know how it is when you're buying parts I, some of them are missing so when you look it up you're probably going to be anywhere from 10 to 15,000 just in parts so um this is a chance where you can get a truck like this um uh, not only get one that's real straight but most of it's brand new most of it's been gone through because it was being geared up for a show truck um i'm gonna let it go like it is like i said there's nothing else except for what's inside here the instrument cluster the little step ups extra set of uh you know rockers there is a set of uh, uh lowering shocks got a brand new tailgate there i kind of put everything in here so that it wouldn't get misplaced and whatnot and it will be kept inside this building so it will be kept in a climate control building it's air conditioned heated in here so it, it's not going to be rusted out or anything um, but i'm not doing any more body work i don't have no glass so you know I'm, I'm i'm trying to answer all the questions so you don't have any questions so you know exactly what you're buying you know exactly what you're getting and if you check out our reputation uh, you will know pretty much how we tell it on the internet is how it is so whatever video we make on this that's how it is and that's what you're getting and uh that's why most of the people in my reviews you'll see it'd be like it, it, we got exactly what we were told so there's no ifs ands or buts or beating around the bush or anything like that so also uh the truck will not be released to anyone until payment is in full we don't do the cashier's checks money orders all that stuff because we've just had too many things happen um even the escrow i just tell people hey you can show up with cash you can pay uh you know if you pay with paypal uh, you're gonna have to wait till it clears till we all get paid so the truck will not leave until i know that the cash is good and in hand we've had too many shysters we've had too many people that were trying to uh trying to do something to us so uh we don't play those games so uh, we try to be straight up with you guys you be straight up with us so but this one is part of my personal collection and uh if there's any other questions let me know it's sitting in this building it is collecting dust the good news is it hasn't been sitting outside so nothing has been rusting so all the new parts to put on it are still good to go um man even the little stoppers here are all brand new after you know aftermarket polyurethane good stuff um we just totally made sure that uh this was going to be like a brand new truck when i got done with it so that's what i was building it for was like a new truck so uh i just don't have time to mess with it we're trying to build funds for our new race car and our new race team and we got some other stuff to do so uh my loss is going to be you guys' gain we won't let it go for nothing but please keep in mind all the new body parts please look them up and uh if you have any more questions let me know but uh good green title and what you see here is what you get there's nothing else being implied there's nothing else you're getting and um man i don't know what else to say about it so i do know that whoever does get this truck this is going to be one badass cool truck and uh if you do want an ls motor to go with it uh let me know and i could also put you together a, an ls package to go with it with transmission all that because we do have a machine shop so any kind of big block small block or ls stuff um whenever i do sell all my cars all these cars you've been seeing us sell on ebay facebook craigslist and whatnot uh, most of the time, when people get down here and uh, buy these vehicles from us, they have actually been buying um, engines and transmissions. Because once they get down here, they're like, damn, man, uh, you're a better deal on the motor and transmission, too. I'll just buy that as well. So um, those are available, but they will be separate from this bid. So if you get the bid to the truck, let's get settled up on the truck. 
and then me and you can talk about what kind of motor you know if you want an ls1 two three seven nine whatever you want let me know let me see what i can do for you and uh you know that'll be additional in cost but we'll uh we'll see uh see if we can't get you fixed up so all right guys well thank you for looking happy bidding and uh well, I hate to see the old thing go, but I'm sure it'll go to a good home. So, all right. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I look at what's in front of me. Don't focus on the other things. I know that if I'm struggling, that only leads to a tough for me. And I want and need something that could challenge me Build up all my calluses, push through all their callousness Becoming reckless, I'm ambitious and I'm restless, yeah Was an apprentice but possessed a different engine So I asked a lot of questions and I learned a lot of lessons, yeah Got different weapons and I worked on my direction, yeah and we gon' hike through the flames We gon' die with a name and we gon' fight through the pain We gon' rise up and change and we gon' strive to make gains Cause we don't hide from the blame We take pride when we train we gon Rise up and change. And we gon' hike through the flame. We gon' die with the man. And we gon' fight through the pain. And we gon' rise up and change. And we gon' strive to make pain. We gon' hide from the pain. We take pride when we train. We gon' rise up and change. I'm gonna be like